A lot of people asking me this week, are the 49ers back? Got that question from Kate at KRON. Great question. It's what's on everyone's mind, and it's a fair question because the Niners just stomped out two teams like they used to do. Uh, put up 30 points in each game. Are the 49ers back? And the question is, it always comes back to, well, they, they've found their identity. They've got their identity back, and so that means they could go on a run and be a Super Bowl team. And I, I don't dispute that. They do have their identity back. Let's just be real specific about all these terms and assertions. When you talk about the Niners finding their identity, that's their offense. So they have found their identity on offense. Uh running the damn ball. And it they struggled to do that the last couple of years because Raheem Mostert was in and out. In 2019, when they took that, when they made that run to the Super Bowl, Mostert was healthy and he was really carrying their running attack, even though he wasn't starting. It wasn't Tevin Coleman. It was Mostert. And he was there for all of it. Uh, he has been out pretty much since then. And Elijah Mitchell's pretty good, but he's in and out as well. Sermon's okay. Wilson's okay. Now that they have Debo Samuel playing running back, he can do everything Mostert did and more. So, yeah, the Niners have their identity. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's playing at his best. Trent Williams is better than Joe Staley was that year. Uh, Juszczyk's here still. Kittle's here still. Ayuk is like Emmanuel Sanders. I mean, McGlinchey's not here, but it's McGlinchey. The offense is good. To me, when you're talking about are the Niners back, are they as good as they were in 2019? you got to look at the defense. I still have questions about the defense. Now, they shut down the last two opponents, but – Matthew Stafford really threw the like threw one pick to Jimmy Ward. He wasn't under pressure. And then Tyler Higby just kind of tossed the ball to Jimmy Ward on another one. I I wonder how good the Niners defense. They were kind of lucky in that game. And then they fa- faced the Jaguars, which proves nothing. Uh, this is a defense that struggled against the Colts, that struggled against um, the Cardinals. And especially, it, it seems like the defense struggles at home. And what my question about it is, Really, the pass rush. Um, the offense has all the key people except for Mike McGlinchey. The defense is missing one key contributor from that 2019 team, and he's not coming back, and they're never going to replace him, or they haven't replaced him. DeForest Buckner. I'm sorry to keep bringing him up, but when they had Buckner and Armstead and Bosa, they were dominant. They had one of the best pass rushes in the league. Now it's merely good, the pass rush. It's good. It's 10th in sack percentage right now. Bosa is still excellent, better than he was in 2019, but Armstead's worse than he was that year. D Ford hasn't done anything. Arden Key is the number two. He is now the replacement for DeForest Buckner. So that's where I come back to this team. Really, you've replaced DeForest Buckner with Arden Key. That's a drop off. So I wonder how is the Niners defense going to do in, in a game like this? In the past, what the Niners, what Buckner and Bosa and Armstead would do to Kirk Cousins is just overwhelm him. It's what they did to Aaron Rodgers, but we saw. The Niners defense doesn't really overwhelm quarterbacks like, especially at Levi's At Levi's. They have no pass rush. I mean, Aaron Rodgers was had all day to throw uh, and everyone wrote the the Packers off in that game because they didn't have their starting tackles. He had all day to throw. So I'm curious to see what this pass rush is like. I still come back to that decision to keep Buckner over to, to keep Armstead over Buckner. That's like if the Niners had decided to keep Dana Stubblefield over Bryant Young back when I was a kid, that's how bad of a decision that was. Defense still has a lot to prove. 